In this episode of the Deluxe Reading Dream Kitchen build, a window will be made. I'm now into the second phase of the diorama, and this is a sketch of the window that I'll be working on, and that will be the first thing that I'll be uh, doing when I work on this second phase. But you can see the dimensions, the measurements of the window that I'm working on. And this is an eight by 11 piece of basswood that I have left, and I have um, two more pieces that I can work with. And so this will enable me to uh, double the panes on the window. And I've already got the second wall prepared. I've painted it. And it's just a matter of now going ahead and working on the window and then cutting that uh, out into the, uh, the foam board. Here's a picture of the window I'll be duplicating. I first attempted to cut the window in one piece, but as I pointed out previously on basswood, it's thin, brittle, and splinters easily. The window design looked good on paper and wood, but executing it was a whole other story. It was at this point I figured out the whole idea of how I wanted the window to be wasn't going to work. In the end, the window was doubled and built piece by piece. Given this, I decided not to do the extra detailing shown on the right window. Using a plexiglass face shield for the window, I'd lay it on top of the sketch and then begin building the window. Off camera, I redid the ends of the window. It's not perfect, but I'm satisfied with how it turned out. On to cutting the opening for the window. Thank you. 
now I'm marking on the dowel how long I want the curtain rod to be. I'm using a 5 16 inch dowel. The rod ended up being 12 and 1 8 inch long. Using miter snips, I cut the dowel. For the curtains, I'll be using this amazing Barbie fabric I purchased on Esty. I'll leave the link in the description box. Here I'm using dollhouse bandages made from cardstock to cover up the imperfections made while cutting out the window. I'm making the last bandage for the top of the window. On to gluing in the window, then the ledge. Now to gluing down the curtain rod brackets. Time to make the curtains.
taken the Barbie curtain and I've turned it up on all four sides about a quarter of an inch you can see that and then I've also turned it up again along the sides and on the bottom now on the top the only thing I'm going to do is just turn that down there and then just sew across now the other thing too is um, I cut the curtain down to 12 inches because I wanted to make sure I had enough and I had cut it the first time and um, it was too short on the bottom so of course that's where the top is going to be and this is going to need to be turned under a little more and I'd like to have a little bit of draping at the bottom there so that's about where I'd like that like to have the bottom of the curtain I might bring it down just a tad bit and then put my pen there and then I'm going to iron and then I'm going to sew that down now I'm going to trim this excess off here and make that a little shorter Off camera, the end caps were made out of pink polymer clay. Join me next time for the continuation of the Deluxe Reading Dream Kitchen Build.